Welcome back to 20 Somethings TV, the show for quarter life crises or soon to be. Stay cool, guys. I'm your host, Christian Owen, and I'm joined by my lovely co hosts, Abby Stevenson, Brooklyn Costa, and the one and only Tyrannosaurus Rex. Thank you. That's Christian. so crazy. I thought you were all extinct. Uh, I'm still here. Today, we're going to be diving into topics about a famous Brit, a famous whistleblower, and a famous singer with some controversial resources in the Midwest. Does that sound like a fun day? I think it is. First up, <laughs> We have Kate, Katie, Catherine, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think the last one's correct. Uh, the junior senator from Missouri has gotten in the news this week for her recent comments. We have a clip here, I believe it's an interesting listen. Keep your ears peeled. And thank you to all the gentlemen behind me who continue to work diligently to actually secure our border. That's what the American people deserve, but unfortunately Joe Biden refuses to give that to them. Mr. President, enough is enough. Innocent Americans are dying, and you only have yourself to blame. Good. What's going on there? <laughs> what is going on there? Sis thinks she's an actor. Yeah. No, she's an actress. Not all politicians are just politicians. A lot of them actually studied um, for years and years. Method acting. Yeah. She like went to NYU or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She met Timmy, got the it's clap. It's true, the clap. <laughs> We actually discussed it. That was a crazy circle back because we talked about him giving, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. Ooh, that, no, yeah. that is pretty <laughs> off topic, but that is true. Um, the, the biggest <laughs> problem that I think I have with this woman, not because she's like a, pol like politicians, you know, they're, they're entertaining sometimes, but just the things that she said are so inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, did you see what she said about like the, um, in that specific clip, it was like, oh, this girl, like, under Joe Biden's administration was, yeah. like, raped by, like, cartel members. And it happened, like, 20 years ago. Yeah. yeah, it was even, like, a girl from, like, the Bush administration or something. Yeah. yeah. And she was in Mexico, and it happened when she was 12. Yeah, but, you know, they can just say whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just thought it was funny how, like, she went from her casual, like, hey, everyone, what's going on? Mm. I'm doing my job. And then she's like, guys, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. <laughs> It's like, yeah. she's going for the fucking Oscar. No, Please. I mean, it's rage bait. It always is with these people. I mean, it is. They want. They just want people to be angry, and they know the people aren't going to go, mm, let me just double check and see if this is correct. Like, no one that's fact checks anymore. No. No. That's and our I, job. And it's crazy that, like, she's been kind of called out on it for the stuff that you just said that it was just completely wrong, and she's not, like, retracting her statement or anything. She's, like, doubling down on some other things to sort of, like, I, like I bring the attention I away read, from that wrong. I read the article, and, like, she literally said, I never said that. This is what I said. And then, like, if you play the video, you're like, girl, that's we not have the what video. you we said. We have the video. We have the receipts. Caught in 4K, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Caught in 4K. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we have it on tape. I mean, I think, like you said, her emotions kind of go really all over the place. In the video, it starts off. She's at her table. Like, this is a humble, like, just talk one person to another. And then she just gets really, really And then into she flips it. the table. Yeah. It's like me yeah. when I don't take my meds. Yeah. <laughs> it's too bad. We don't, we don't have that part of the video because it keeps going. She flips the table? After she flips the table, she <laughs> takes, she's wearing like this like fake costume and the, you know like Game of Thrones when Ari like rips the head off yeah, and it's someone yeah. else? She did that. It's weird that we don't have that part yeah. of the video. Oh. So no, weird. it's true. That's have you seen so the whole weird. video? I have not seen the whole video. I was kind of no. tired today. I just got back from Texas. No, it was actually Joe Texas. Biden. Yeah. Speaking of flying, um, next up, we have a crazy story concerning the Boeing company with a side of dead whistleblower. So oh, your stomach's full. No, but no. before we get nice. into that, no. let's watch a bunch of people freaking out in a stationary seated position to complete silence. Well, it's not silent because Rex is going to... Oh, yeah, it. Rex, can you do it? All right, we're up friends? here. We're up here in the air. Okay, these things probably don't work because a quarter of them don't work according to Boeing. The window's gone. Aren't you supposed to be getting sucked out? Um, like Those Hollywood in space. They got the That's LEDs. Amazing. Jeez, I mean, that was crazy. Yeah. Thank God that we should had you to narrate happening. over it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if what? you guys were ever on a plane and that happened, like, would you be just sitting? You see those people? They're just like. Yes. I'd be in, like, you know, I. Just <laughs> well, that's what's weird. I don't know, Sorry. like, a lot about planes or, like, physics and stuff, but I always thought, like, if a door or something, like, doesn't all the air come in like, and it's like. like I, th Ooh, I feel like I've seen, that. Out like, <laughs> I've seen that so much in movies, that's what I would have expected. Mm. It, like, if something blew off, it would have expected the worst. Like you gotta hold but to just be life. able to sit, sit there. there. That would be terrifying. Like, I, I feel like my grandpa would just be sitting there like, 
Oh, it's crazy oh, though, because all the like air things came down. But I heard that um, on their planes, it's on? like one in four yeah. don't work. Right. Yeah. So I mean, so even died. if they did put them so, like, on, one in four one did not get oxygen. They were just kind of like, yeah. They always say, "Don't worry, oxygen will still be flowing, even if it doesn't inflate." <laughs> but That's so not then, true, so then there apparently. was a whistleblower because there there are two big parts to the story. Yeah, There's yeah, yeah. just the crazy safety stuff, and then the whistleblower. You had a lot to say about this. Yeah, I did some research on this. So our main topic of discussion is a man named John. He was a 32-year worker for Boeing that retired in 2019. Unfortunately, he died on March 9th. He was found dead by a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Self-inflicted. <laughs> um, you know, hotel parking lot. Sorry about that. Really unfortunate. But... Um, over the past couple of years, he's been providing testimony to an ongoing case against Boeing, um, against some of their quality procedures. Um, so after he died, there were some things that came out suspecting that it might not be a suicide. One of these is a family friend claims that she spoke to him a short time before his death, where when questioned about his concerns about going against such a big company, he said, I ain't scared. But if anything happens to me, it wasn't suicide. It was definitely not a suicide. They killed him. It's just, it's too perfect. Like, oh my God, he's about to expose all this information. Oh, he has a gunshot wound in his head in a random hotel. That's, you can't write that shit. Why are you so excited over there? I'm not excited, here, I just can't believe it. Here's what I wonder when stuff like this happens, is like, are they that dumb? Mm. To like say that they, it was an inside job, whatever. Um, how would they not know that all of, like, that it would become a big thing Especially like this? Especially after like, the plane? Yeah. yeah. It, it, why, like, it makes more sense. Like, if you're going to kill someone to stop them from leaking information, you think you'd do it a little bit sooner? Yeah, like, before Because he, he gets the all this yeah. attention, yeah. and then they do it now, and it's like, wh now everyone's expecting they this of you, your company. Like, bro. I don't fly a lot, but now I'm going to think, every time I hear the name, don't go on that one. Like, they yeah. already messed it up, you know? It just doesn't make any sense to do it at that point when you're already... When, I don't know. Even if he didn't decide Are they to, like, that be dumb? a whistleblower, like, after that video, I'd be like, no. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I agree. Personally... Instead of listening to some, like, you know, CEO sort of be like, oh, like, we are just, uh, you know, everything's, like, fine. It's just, like, an inside story. I'd rather listen to some Olivia Rodrigo. Have you guys listened to Guts? That is a great album. Uh, our final story is concerning our American sweetheart turned politician. Uh, Olivia Rodrigo was recently in a St. Louis, uh, in St. Louis, Missouri on the Guts tour. And uh, with her foundation, Fund for Good, uh, she was handing out contraceptives such as uh, mm -hmm. condoms, birth control pills, yes. um, and Actually, you know. Actually, I think it was the morning after pill, no, not birth control. You have to plan B. plan B. Plan B. Plan um, B. So she's giving out birth control pills. Birth I'm control. sorry, and you have to go to a concert every three months and get more. <laughs> oh my God! Wait, sorry. <laughs> okay. that, obviously, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they said is correct, okay, not what I said. Um, but anyways. The Midwest, we've been talking a lot about the Midwest office in the story. It seems like people are not so happy with the sort of, oh, you know, we have, like, children, and, and people are, like, go going, like, raping these people, and then, oh, I'm sorry. They, they can't, like, abort these babies. I just can't believe it. Personally, I can't believe it. Well, it's not just that. It's the fact that... Birth control, contraceptives, like all of this stuff is like for multiple different reasons. Like me personally, I got a birth control because um, my mom has endometriosis and I have really painful periods. So I was like the one like out of like a million people who go on it for like pain relief and that yeah. actually helped because most yeah. of the time they're like, oh, you have painful, like bad pain, go on birth control and it doesn't do jack. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's like the thing with a lot of medicines can be used for different reasons. I know like one time for acne, they put me on this pill that's technically for um, blanking on the body part. But it's like, it was for something like it's a dual use type of thing. Yeah. And it's like, that's the same thing, but just because it can be used for birth control, they're just taking that and running with it. Yeah. But what I want to know is what are the margins on these concerts? Because the no, plan yeah. B is like 50 bucks. Yeah. 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 And I just want to know for free. Like I know that my sister tried to get tickets to this 
tour and it was just like the same thing with like Taylor Swift like they were like a million bazillion dollars yeah. and they sold out really fast on Ticketmaster because they're factoring in the cost of the plan B for every mm -hmm. ticket you yeah. buy yeah. I personally yeah. think it's cool that she's doing this like she didn't like give it to everyone she offered it so like if you wanted it if right. you were like oh I'll take some free condoms I'll take some yeah, free birth free. control because yeah, like doctors are getting arrested and like sent to jail some up to like you could be killed yeah like you get the prison like what is it called? Like the murder charge? Yeah, you can get a the death penalty. The death penalty. Yeah. You can be charged with murder for being a doctor and doing an abortion that could save someone's life. Like if you have like an extra uterine pregnancy that could kill the mother and the baby, you can't get an abortion. If the baby has like a terminal illness that like it'll come out of the womb and be like alive for like maybe five minutes, you cannot terminate the pregnancy. You will be put in jail. Yeah. So like go. Go for you. Good for you, Olivia. Mm. Good for you. Good for you. Good, Good for, for you, you, Olivia. That that's power to you. Like you know, she no, has a platform I, and she's using it. I think it's great, and it's not. I never really saw her as the type that had like a super young audience. Like if that's like a complaint, that it's like, oh, there's so many. Girls. It's not like a JoJo Siwa concert. Mm. No. Which, in it, which nowadays you can't even take your little girls to that either. We, that should be a topic for another week. Sorry. Oh my God, that's so. But cool. um, JoJo Siwa. I mean, like, and even if they are younger, they're gonna grow up eventually. These are things that like you can't hide. I, from I feel like her audience was like all that. young when she was on like the Zardvark when I was like and like yeah. Oh, Olivia Rodrigo? Disney. She started Disney. on Disney. Oh, but like her, Musical. Her audience yeah. was young when I was young. So like yeah. now they're like, oh, she has children. I'm like, I'm 21 yeah. years old. But like, I don't think about? it's that crazy of a thing to be handing out at a concert of hers. Yeah. Right? I they sell alcohol at concerts. True. Mm. Rex, would you go to Olivia Rodrigo's concert to get free condoms? Um, usually they hand them out at URI Health Services. Oh, <laughs> I so mean, we don't have to go too I mean, far. I'd go to Olivia Rodriguez. But I would concert. go for the music. Guys, yeah, skip the music. concert. Just go to health services. Yeah. That's so I true. Don't my most. Save your money. Cut kids. out the middleman. Yeah. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for us today. Until next time, enjoy your jackets and shamrock shakes while you still can. Mm. We'll see you next time. Thank you.